What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we have a pretty cool portable or wireless or travel keyboard from Mad Cats. It is their Strike M. So let's go ahead and take a look. The Strike M comes in a very nice retail box. On the front it does have a picture and it lets us know some of the main features here and that we do have a US layout. Um, I, I assume there's other layouts for different regions and all of that. On the back, it goes into detail on some of those main features and all of that fun stuff. Um, but let's just go ahead and get inside and see what this keyboard is all about. So it should, hopefully, just kind of slide out it does um, so we have another box here that does have the Mad Cats logo on it and we'll try to open this up somehow it looks like you kind of just pull the tab and inside you can see oh as stuff slides out uh, looks like we have a nice pretty nice big user's guide in here cabling and we have the keyboard itself we'll move all this junk out of the way so we can get a good look at everything. So first we have some cables here. Um, it looks like we have a stand, um, which is kind of cool. So we have this pretty cool Mad Cat stand and I assume this is just for like a mobile device or a tablet, but it's nice that they have it because again, this is a Bluetooth keyboard, right? So you, you are going to be using it um, a lot of times with a tablet, a lot of people want to play tablet games or want to be productive on a tablet and having a keyboard makes that possible. Um, so having a nice stand like this um, is great so that you can have your tablets, of course, sitting face, you know, sitting up and, uh, you know, you can type or you can play a game or you can do whatever. So that's kind of nice that they include the stand here. And then we have a uh, USB cable. It's micro USB to USB. And I believe this is for charging the keyboard. And then we have all of this stuff. We have, um, and there's Mad Cat stickers in here and this looks like a little support guide. So we have stickers uh, plus a support guide. And then this looks to be kind of like an overview of what the keyboard does and how to get it set up. And there are a ton of pictures inside and really great directions, um, which I like to see, you know, with new devices, a lot of people might not be sure what to do. So a ton of stuff in there, move this stuff out of the way and we can take a look at the keyboard, which again is very nicely packaged, um, which is great to see. And we can take a look at the keyboard and it does come in this very nice travel uh, pouch here. Um, so nothing really bad happens to the keyboard, you know, when you're traveling with it and it just looks nice. And of course it does have the Mad Cats logo on there as well. And if we take it out, this is a very small keyboard. I, I expect it to be a little bit bigger, but this is very, very small here. Um, so again, it's great for traveling. It's great for, you know, using say like on a home media center or something like that, because it is so small, it just makes it great, you know, for those type of things. So the keys themselves, um, you know, just looking at this, these are pretty nice keys for this type of keyboard. Now, uh, Mad Cats calls these their low profile pulse scissor keys, and um, they respond to 60, G of actuation force. Um, so they're pretty nice. I mean, if you are gonna be doing gaming with this, um, this is a you know pretty nice keys for that. Now, while they're not mechanical keys, they're still pretty, pretty good for um, you know for gaming and just typing in general. They're gonna be really, really nice here. So you have that. Um, you do have pretty much all of the keys that you would want. I'm gonna try to get this close enough where you can see this. So you pretty much have all of the keys you would want to, you know, for doing all of your basic tasks and for gaming and all of that. And it looks like we have some other keys over here. First, we have this slider, this knob up top, and that is actually for your volume. So you can just have a volume slider up and down. We have back, play, pause, and forward right here. So you have those for your media keys. And then we have left and right mouse click. We have our backlighting and this is uh, I believe it's white backlighting on this keyboard, which is actually pretty cool as well. 
And I'm not sure what this last button does, uh, but you have that and then you have your Bluetooth button, which will allow you to pair the device with uh, you know, your tablet or your computer or an Android device or something like that. You can go ahead and pair it. Over on this side, we also have left and right mouse click up top here. And then we have this optical sensor and this optical sensor, which my finger is on right now, it acts as a mouse. So as I move my finger over it, it will just be like moving the mouse around as you would. So again, great for a home media center, great for um, devices where you might want to do, use the mouse, not a whole lot, but to get to certain things, you can use this much like you would a mouse. Of course, we have our space bar down here in the bottom. It is pretty big as well. Um, trying to see if there's any other buttons or anything that I'm missing here. Um, on the back here, we have a power on and off, and then we have the USB connection, all which is right up here. Again, kind of hard to see right there, but you have those two things. And then on the bottom here, we do have five rubber feet again. So this will keep this keyboard, you know, from moving around as I'm typing. Um, so this is a great little keyboard. Um, I love the colors. I'm not sure if it does come in other colors, but the red is really great. Um, it looks really good. It seems to be a pretty sturdy keyboard as well. Again, not only just for gaming, you know, don't think this is just a gaming keyboard. This is a keyboard to be productive on your tablet. This is a keyboard for the home media Center. This is a keyboard maybe if you're using an Android device on your TV you can pair this because it is Bluetooth so anything that supports Bluetooth should work with this keyboard um, so you should have full access you know to use all of this um, and everything like that and it's pretty cool that it does have the little optical sensor on here so that you can use your finger much like you would a mouse so this has been our quick little unboxing and overview of the Mad Cats Strike M portable or travel or Bluetooth uh, keyboard. So make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. Until next time, catch you guys later.